So I'll we'll just wait until someone comes in. You know what I haven't figured out is how to adjust the camera. Is there a way to zoom in or zoom out with the webcam? I don't know. I'm going to have to research that because it would be nice to change the perspective on the camera. Hi, Alice. Welcome. It's good to have you here. Hey, Lone Star, I'm glad you could make it. Now, I first of all want to apologize because I'm having some webcam issues. I've tried everything to make this live thing work, and I've tried hooking my camera into my digital camera in it. I've tried plugging my video camera into it. Well, it seems, according to what I've read on YouTube or videos I've seen and sites that I've read, that you need some kind of a special connector, which I can get. But I've got a top-of-the-line laptop. It's got HDMI and all that kind of stuff. But apparently, in order to use anything outside of a webcam that's built into the camera or even a webcam that's designed as a webcam, you can't use these other devices without a interface of some kind. So it's making this a little more challenging. Uh, matter of fact, let me see if I can bring this down to my work surface. Um, I might have to do some adjusting here. Um, I just don't know how that's gonna work because um, I want you to be able to see what I'm doing here. I may be able to move the, I've got the laptop currently sitting up on a box. Um, just so that we're at eye level, but but maybe what I can do is move the laptop down to the table level when I get ready to make what I'm making here, and that way you can see what I'm doing because that's the whole purpose of this. So you can watch the making of, and I've got everything ready here for you but I do want to make sure that you're actually able to see it or it's kind of pointless, right? Hi, Renee, you made it. I'm so glad you could make it. What I was just explaining to everyone is that I'm kind of stuck with using the camera that's built into my laptop. That's what you're seeing me on is my laptop. I have cameras, digital cameras. I have a digital phone. I have my a digital phone, if you know what I mean. I have a digital camcorder as well. But apparently these things, to use them as a camcorder, at least on the computer, require a third piece of equipment that I don't have, but I'm gonna go pick up this afternoon. So in the future, we won't have to do this on my laptop because as it is, you can't really see my workspace. Um, and I also don't like that you can't adjust this camera on the laptop. You can't zoom in or do any of those things. And I just spill fragrance oil, I mean, uh, uh, oil all over here. And see, that's the great part. You can't see the mess I just made that I need to clean up. <laughs> One moment here. I just spilled oil. It's not the end of the world. Wasn't that much. I'll need to remeasure it, reweigh it out, but it'll be okay. <laughs> this has happened both on camera and off. So, what are you all doing today? How are you spending your Saturday? Are you doing projects around your house? Are you, uh, anybody got the day off? This is actually a work day for me. I'm doing this during a lunch hour. Um, seemed like a good time. So Renee, what are you doing today? Uh, 
Okay, so while we're waiting here, what I'm gonna try to do is move things around and move my camera down here. Oh, how wonderful, Renee. Oh, that's wonderful, Lone Star. So you moved recently to a new home? Did you move to a new town or just into a new house in the same town? Give me just a moment, I'll be right back. I have to go remeasure some oil. Thank you so much, I'm back. Oh, gotcha. Okay, so, wow, that was quite a move. Oh, that's wonderful, what a, what a great location. What I'm gonna be making today, thank you for asking. Um, what I'm gonna be making today, and I will try to readjust here so you can actually, matter of fact, let me go ahead and move the camera so you can see what I'm doing. So hold on. I told you I had you sitting on a box, I really did. Yeah, so hold on. Okay, let's see if this will work. You're gonna be looking at me at this weird angle, but I think this will work. Um, Let's see if I can adjust that. I can't adjust it too much more than that. Let me see if I can put something under the back. And then adjust here. And that's about as good as it's gonna get. But what I'm making today is, well, I tried to make the coffee butter and it works great. That was a wonderful recipe. I love it. It's something that, um, I love to use. As a matter of fact, let me show you. Let me get that real quick. So again, this stuff is held up wonderfully. It's very firm. It smells like coffee. It's terrific. But the problem is it with it is that I can't send it to anyone because in this heat, well, it melts. I set one outside for about 20 minutes. <laughs> And it completely liquefied and just became a puddle. So that's nothing anyone wants. I don't want people having to re-refrigerate it and then re-whip it themselves. So what I decided to do was I made some more coffee oil. And I'm going to make a coffee lotion. Uh, this is basically going to be a lotion made very much the, the same way as I made the butter, except in this case, there's going to be the addition of water and a bit of emulsifying wax that's in my oils so that this can be a lotion that will can travel and people can get the wonderful benefits and the aroma of delicious coffee without the risk of it melting on the way. And I'm sorry, that's my, this is my treadmill over here that's in the way that I need to use much more, I'm starting to. So I've got everything here. My goat's milk is here. It's kind of coagulating a bit. And that's because this is from a newly lactating mother um, who had recently lost her baby, unfortunately. And one of them, she had triplets. And two were fine and one didn't quite make it. But she's making an awful lot of extra milk. And to relieve her, you have to milk her. And so I get a lot of this extra, but it's very high. In fact, it's a very 
uh, thick, it's almost a cream. So I actually had to add a little bit of water to it just to um, get it to uh, where it was workable. So uh, yeah, that's it. I know it's very sad, isn't it? But um, so I'm gonna start the process here. Now my oils here, my uh, wax has started to solidify a little. So I may have to reheat it a bit, um, but I'm going, what I'm gonna do, is I've got my coffee oil here. I'm not gonna add all of this because this isn't a large recipe, um, but I am going to, if I can do this cleanly, Hang on a moment here. Let me get a container so that I can measure this out a little better. Okay, here we go. Good, I didn't mess up too much there. Well, obviously adding that coffee oil in is going to darken this substantially. Um, but what a great benefit. So your lotion may be a little dark, but boy, is it going to smell great. This is the thick, luscious part of the oil, the really thick, viscous kind of this wonderful stuff. This is where the true, wonderful smells are. And so I'm going to be adding that in as well. Now this will need to be, I can tell already that the um, oils are starting to, that the uh, wax, excuse me, is starting. This is a soy wax that's in here. So it is vegan friendly. I do have these wax and I use it in most of my own recipes, but I know that there are a lot of people that don't use these wax. So for those folks, there is soy wax. So let me look at the screen for a moment, see if there are any questions. And welcome. You made it, Green. I'm so glad. Hi, Donna. Welcome. I'm working on a coffee lotion here today since I couldn't ship, as you well know, since I couldn't ship the uh, wonderful mousse butter that I made, the coffee butter, um, this will be shippable. I'm making a lotion. Uh, it's going to be more of a cream, I think, than a lotion. It'll be a little thicker. Um, it's actually going to go in jars instead of bottles. And it will be almost, it's almost an identical recipe, actually, with the exception of this will have water and the soy wax in it to create a lotion. Oh, I'm sorry you were having problems, Donna. I'm not real um, tech savvy when it comes to YouTube and how all this works yet. I'm working on it, but I'm not there yet. So give me a few moments. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go reheat this a bit um, before I add in my, my milk because the milk is cooler and I don't want to have to, um, I don't want the wax to, well, actually, I can go ahead and add, what I will do is I'm going to go ahead and add in the water. But I'm going to heat this up for just a bit first. So you're going to have to, this is the fun of live. Hi, Deb, welcome. Oh, I didn't say it was vegan lotion. I apologize, Renee. No, 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 not vegan lotion, just the beeswax. I have had... Two different people tell me, ask me if I could make a make my lotions with soy wax or a vegan wax. I don't know why, but for some people they feel taking goat from taking milk from a goat is okay, but taking wax from a bee is wrong. I'm not one to judge what people's beliefs are. Um, <laughs> so believe me, I have had this this very uh, talk with various different people. But I'll be right back. I'm going to heat this. And so hang tough. I'll be right back. Thank you. 
Thank you so much. I know, isn't that weird, right? Um, come for a live show and the host walks away. Okay, <laughs> so what I'm going to do now, and, and the wax may seize up a bit here, and if so, I'll have to reheat it slightly. What I'm doing now, let me move the camera. Oops. Okay, let me redo the camera. Okay, and I apologize. I know this is a little hokey the way I'm having to do this, but hopefully this is just temporary. So now I'm adding in my distilled water and the milk. Whoop. And naturally, of course, the wax solidifies a bit on the top. So this is to be expected, but it will just... Boy, that's full. <laughs> so now what I'm going to do is go add just a tad. I'm going to actually microwave this now for just about 30 seconds, just to add a little heat to this, and I'll be right back. So now I'm going to hit this with the stick blender here. Oh. I've got it really, really full. But once I get this mixed up, I'll actually take some out of here and separate it. of the coffee, this wonderful, luscious, big coffee, what I call coffee car. I love this stuff. And I do see some other people have come in. Hi, Sin City. Set you, Nicole. Welcome. It's so good to have you here. And it's starting to now thicken very nicely. 
Now, what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to stop here and I'm going to scoop some of this out so it's a little more workable because it isn't right now. Because I made a larger batch. I have a larger, obviously, some are larger containers that I can do this in, but this was the one I chose. So my mistake, there we go, much more workable now. So now let me stop and check in with you all. I do have to adjust the camera slightly so that I can read. You know, this is really funny. Um, <laughs> I have never done anything like this where I've worked in front of someone else. It's one thing to do it in front of the camera, but when you know that there are people there waiting for you to do something, it's really different. Oh, I appreciate that Lone Star. I have larger containers. I really do. I have some much larger containers. In fact, this was just a sort of a test. Um, and I just was throwing it together for this web show. And you're right. I, I didn't plan it as well as I should have for sure. But I am not aware of them. Um, there is a wonder, there are is a wonderful restaurant supply store um, actually in Rockwall. I don't know if you're familiar with Rockwall. Now, there's a wonderful restaurant supply, or it's near there. It's not in Rockwall, actually. And they have some wonderful items there that I've picked up as well. Okay, let me readjust here. And I'll actually let me do a little cleanup here. Now, because I'm trying to keep this as sanitary as possible, you may wonder, well, then why don't you have gloves on? Because my hands are probably cleaner than gloves would be. Um, I've cleaned them with alcohol on three different occasions, actually, today. Or during this process, I should say. And I'm using paper towels because I just didn't want to uh, use up another towel for this purpose. And I will tell you, this looks like a fine latte. It really is lovely. It's getting nice and thick. But I do want to scrape it down a bit here. And just adding in some swirls, more of that coffee, that wonderful coffee tar. I, I know there's a name for it. When you make your coffee um, infused oil and let it sit. It does separate into two different types of oil. You get your top oil, which is an infusion of the wonderful coffee, but then on the bottom, you get this very thick, wonderful tar-like stuff. And I will tell you that I put it on my tongue and it actually stings a bit. The, the, the coffee is so refined. Uh, or uh, reduced, I should say. It's sort of like when you cook um, something and you let it reduce so much and the salt builds up, and this is very much the same. Instead of salt, of course, it's coffee. But I love the smell of this. So I'm going to do a little cleanup here, and then this is ready for the container. And I'm just going to put this in little four ounce jars. Um, because, quite frankly, this is, uh, I can put it in larger containers, but this was just a little batch just to show the process. I do this more to show you how to do things than I do it to sell a product myself. I'll put these things up sometimes in my Etsy store just because I've got more than I need. Really, I'm not doing this for that purpose nearly as much as I just want to show this isn't complicated. It's more complicated doing it on camera, of course. Um, you know, the fact doing anything on camera in front of other people, you can be a little nervous. Um, and I am. But 
you can see that is now, oh, you can't really see, but that is now a very nice, luscious cream and it's very smooth. Now, what you'll find with any of these coffee formulations, you need to double and triple screen it because you can get little tiny flecks of coffee. Um, and, it, and there's nothing wrong with that. But when you're dealing with a soft soapy lotion or something, you don't want little flecks of coffee on your skin. Right? It's fine if you're making a scrub or something, but certainly not just for a creamy lotion. So now I'm going to um, move some things aside here and make some space. So give me a moment for that. I normally would never, I would normally never do anything like this wide. <laughs> I'm not that brave. It's so much easier when you can edit a tape, right? You can't edit live too well, except to do this, move the camera out of the way. So when you make a mess, they can't see the mess, but that's about as much editing. So I'm just leaving my glasses on because I can't read very well without them. I don't generally need them except when I'm reading. And I don't know about all of you, but on, I can say that since dealing with computers more that my vision, I think has got worse. Um, there's something about looking at that screen that has made me at least um, not see as well as I once did. So just a moment here, I'll show you guys what I'm doing here. Just a moment, I just getting my jar of ready. It will probably take more than what I'm setting up here, but I can put it in a larger jar just for keeps. But right, so let me move the camera here a bit, and I'm sure I'll spill this multiple times, but. Yeah, so clean up on aisle three. But I will tell you, it's a marvelous thing to clean up. Um, your hands get moisturized as you're cleaning up. So I'll have some jar cleanup here, obviously. I have a plastic container that does a much better job. It has a finer spout on it, and I don't have this kind of a problem, but that wouldn't be fun live, would it? <laughs> this smells tremendous. Except I'm gonna have to redo it. I forgot to put in the preservative, which I have sitting here. So I've got to pour it all back in and redo it because this cannot go out without preservative. So, okay. So you've seen it being made, which you won't see is it being redone because I'm going to have to re-clean all these drawers and do this all over again. And this is the joy of live. I can't imagine those people do live TV and have hundreds of thousands or millions of people watching and they make a mistake. How horrifying must that be? I only have like eight of you to be humiliated in front of. But I think this is better. I think it's better you see actually that these kind of things do happen and, and hopefully it'll help you to avoid them going forward. So... That's all of this I'm going to do on camera or do live now because I've got a mess to clean up and um, I've got to wash things and you don't want to be a part of all that. 
So I'm not ending the stream, but we're pretty much done with lotion with the uh, making of uh, for now. And I do apologize. I, I'm very sorry. I, that's the problem of being distracted with the camera. <laughs> and you know what's wonderful about making lotions or creams or any of these things? No lie. I love that, Renee. That's hilarious. And it's not icky. Who cares, right? <laughs> We're all grown up. Human and imperfect. Well, that may be true. I don't really know what perfection is in anything, quite frankly. Um, but it's a nice word. <laughs> but mistakes happen. Absolutely mistakes happen. But you know what I like about that? You can learn from mistakes, right? We can learn, hey, next time. I will keep that sitting right next to me. It's because earlier when I sp spilt oil on the table when I first started, I moved the container with the I moved the container with my preservative and vitamin E in it out of the way to clean up and just forgot about it. Not a problem. I'll just add it into the lotion reblend. Right. Well, I can tell you that I've learned so much about not just soap making and that sort of thing, but I've learned a lot about myself. And I think any of you who have done videos on YouTube could probably have probably shared this, but I've learned that I'm capable of more than I thought I was. Well, thank you so much, Nicole. You have a fantastic day. Bye. But what I've learned is that I'm capable. I can do this. I may not be great at it. I may make mistakes. Sorry. I have a thing for sparkling water. This is just Perrier because that's just what I was able to get. But I'm not a Coke drinker, although on a rare occasion, I'll have a Diet Coke or something. I usually drink water, but I love sparkling water. And it's hard to come by here in the out in the middle of nowhere, but <laughs> I do my best. Isn't it fun watching others? I get a kick out of it. I love watching not just Nicole, but Renee. And if you all haven't seen Renee or Renee's latest video, go take a look at it. The cutting of is just lovely. Um, Renee's one of the few people I know that does two video. Well, Nicole and Nicole and Wayne do two videos. They generally do a longer video, and then they do a shorter video um, for people that have uh, low attention spans, I suppose. <laughs> and Renee does hers in the style of silent movie cliffhangers, which I think is just so charming that you see part of it, um, the making of, and then you get to return the next day or later in the day for the exciting conclusion, which is the cutting of. So kudos, Renee. And I will tell you that I normally don't like those kind of videos. I don't like delayed gratification. I like to see it all done at once. <laughs> but with Renee, because of the way she does it, it's a lot of fun. But everyone, if you would, give a thumbs up. If you haven't already, it does help. Um, but also, I want to tell you thank you. This means a lot to me that you're even here. Um, I know there are other things you could be doing with your day, and hopefully you do go do those things, too. Don't spend it all in front of a computer. <laughs> I have to do that for my job. I'm in front of the computer or on the phone all the time, which I will be in just a few minutes or at uh, the top of the hour here. But uh, I really do want to thank you all. It, it means a lot to me. And I've and such wonderful people. I've met just the most giving and kind and generous people here. Well, thank you, Donna. I appreciate that.
Okay, you have a great day. Bye, Renee. <laughs> so everyone, um, I just want to thank you so much for, for coming today. I will um, uh, upload at least some pictures of this once I'm done because I have to redo everything, but um, I will get that done. But I want to thank you all so very much and hope if, unless you have any questions, if anyone has any questions they want to ask, now's the time. Lena, love your hearts. <laughs> Lena, and by the way, I took your advice about goat milk that smells like goat milk. And I, I am taking that in consideration very much. And I will tell you that in this formula, the coffee um, is a great foil for goat milk, um, for that smell. Well, most people like the smell. A lot of people like the smell. A lot of people don't like the smell of milk, say, in lotion and soaps. I do. But I understand there are people that don't. And this is one of those formulations that covers that. The earthy uh, smell of coffee really does cover that. So just wanted to throw that out there. Oh, yeah, the berries. Um, where I was going to show you something. Well, <laughs> right here. Um, yeah, these are the berries. You're talking about the juniper berries, I'm sure, right? That I was picking the other morning. This is some of them. These are drying. What I do with those is I grind them up in a mortar and pestle um, when they're dry. Now I will film that, but I grind them up in a mortar and pestle, infuse those in an oil, and infuse some of them in vodka for a tincture. Not something that I sell or push on anyone else. It's something I drink, I take, especially during the cold and flu season. Bye, Deb. It was great having you here. I hear you, Donna. Oh, a binge. I'm, <laughs> I'm a binger, too. <laughs> so thanks so much, everyone. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.